We continue in Tanya. We're in the middle of chapter 4 of Tanya. Yesterday, we introduced the garments of the soul. The garments are the expressions of the soul, which are thought, speech, and action. And towards the end of yesterday's uh, segment, we mentioned that in today's Tanya, we're going, we're going to be talking about a certain advantage that the garments of the soul, the expressions of the soul, have over the core components of the soul itself. And what is that? So to introduce that, let's talk for a second about a famous saying, is the thought that counts. Is that really true? Is it really the thought that counts? Or is the main thing what a person does? So let's use an example. So let's say you have one day, there's a woman, and she decides that she wants to uh, really treat her husband well, and she makes a delicious four-course dinner for her husband. Husband comes home from work, sits down for the meal, delicious meal. It's also uh, set with the finest china. And when the meal is finished, husband turns to the wife and says, you know, that was a good meal, but uh, the meat was missing some salt. So, you know, it didn't really count. You could try again another day, though. Now, obviously, this guy is an idiot. And why? Because it is the thought that matters. At the end of the day, the whole, the whole supper, the whole dinner, was an expression of the love. It's the love that matters. And the greatness and the importance of the action is only in as much as it is a way of expressing the feelings and the relationship. So it's the thought that matters. And that's why, in terms of our relationship with God, there are many people who are confused about this. And they say, why is Yiddishkeit, why, why is Judaism so obsessed with the deed? Isn't it the thought that matters? You know, I have a relationship with God in my heart. I love Him. I respect Him. And whichever way it expresses itself is not so important because the expressions, the thought, speech, and action are not as important as the actual relationship itself at the very core. But in today's Tanya, the Alter Rebbe says that what is true in a relationship between two human beings is not true when it comes to our relationship with God. And the reason why is because God is not a human being. God is infinite and we are finite. And the notion that we can have a relationship with Him on our terms, oh, I'll just have a feeling for God and automatically there's a relationship that's generated is actually a ridiculous idea. This is ridiculous as a, a bacteria one day waking up and deciding it wants a relationship with you and saying, oh, if I just love that person enough, they're going to love me back. It's a bacteria. Now, think about it. A bacteria is a simple organism. You're a more complicated, a more complex organism. But you're both organisms. We're finite. God is infinite. How do we have a relationship with Him? And the only way that we have a relationship with Him is because, incredibly, because of God's love for us, he actually condensed himself into the Torah, into the mitzvahs. And when we study Torah, because God is condensed within the Torah, we're actually connecting with Hashem. And because God's will is condensed in the mitzvahs, when we do a mitzvah, we are connecting to Hashem. Because these are the tools that God gave us to connect to Him. So what we have here is very interesting. Is that in an ordinary relationship, the relationship starts within. It starts in the mind and in the heart and expresses itself in actions. In a relationship with God, it's the other way around. The relationship is created in the actions, in the Torah that we study, in the mitzvahs that we learn. And then our insights, in other words, our intellect, our emotions take part in that relationship when they are infused in the action, when our action is filled with emotions, when our action is filled with our understandings, then the core components of our soul is also connected to God. But ultimately, our relationship with God is in, it requires the garments, it requires the expressions of the soul, which is why the levushim, the garments, they have a certain advantage in terms of our connection with God, which the core components of the soul themselves do not have.